Again, welcome to Introduction to Data Science that's using R for Data Science. Again, this will be our final lectures on visualization, again, using the ggplot2 package. This is our lecture number four on visualization. So again, our main objective is uh, data visualization with R. And this time we're going to focus on uh, coordinate systems. Again, we have different types of uh, charts or graphs. And the whole concept is you should know the name of the, uh, the, the name of the chart and also the functions to use. So far we have used at least four or five different types of functions in our previous lectures. In this session, we are going to learn how we can change our X and Y axis or the coordinate system. So here we say that the coordinate system are probably the most complicated part of the ggplot2 package of R. So the default coordinate system again uses the Cartesian coordinate system, uh, which is in college algebra again, the basic concept of Cartesian coordinate system, where again, X and Y positions act independently, independently to determine the location of each point. So here we're going to have the X as our horizontal axis and Y as our again vertical axis. So again, there are a number of uh, other coordinate systems that are occasionally helpful. But again, here we're going to focus on Cartesia, uh, which is the ggplot focus on. So the function to use is called the quad flip or coordinate flip function. And again, the name of the function is to flip. And this means, again, we are switching the X and Y. So if I want to switch the X and Y axis, I may use quad flip switch. So this will switch again X and Y axis. Again, this is useful if you want the horizontal bus plot. It's also useful for long labels. And again, it's hard to get them to fit without overlapping on the x-axis so we can switch it. So a very good example is the boss plot. I have a boss plot that by default is vertical. But sometimes when the boss plot is horizontal, it's more easier to read. So in this case, I can flip it. Instead of the boss plot to be vertical, we have the minimum down. The up here is the maximum. And we have Q1, the first bar. The bar inside the box is the Q2, or same as the media. Then we have the Q3. Uh, again, it's vertical. If I want it horizontal, then I can use the code flip to flip it. So this is the example. Uh, again, we have the ggplot that we are using the MPG data. And we map our X as the cross and I weigh as our Y. And here we want to again plot the bus plot. So we use the geom bus plot. Again, most of the functions for the charts are the name of the chart. For example, we saw the bar chart, same thing, the name geo bar. Here we want to plot the bus plot as shown in the figures here. So first option again, we, this option will give us the first graph here. We are going to plot it using the, again, the MPG data set. We make our class as the X axis and the I way as our Y axis. But now we want to use the gain, the cohort flip to change the axis. So here we still have the ggplot, the data MPG, the X still the class and the Y still the highway. And we plot the bus plot. This time we use the code flip to flip the X and Y. So you can see in our second, the first graph we have highway as Y axis, but in the second, the highway become the X axis. So again, here we can use the code flip function to change or to switch the X and Y axis. Also, we can use the code quick map, quick map. This normally we set the aspect ratio convey for the mouse. 
So this is very important also, again, to set the aspect ratio uh, for the maps. So this is very important if you are plotting a spatial data with ggplot, uh, which again, unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have the space to cover in these lectures or the book we are using. So for example, here we have map data NZ, we are assigned to an object name NZ. So we have our ggplot. Again, we are using the data NZ. We set long, lat, and we set a group also. Here we are plotting a polygon. We are going to fill in with white, and the color will be black. So this is it here. Now this time we want to set a quick map. So we have the same graph again using the data G N Z, and then we have the setting for the aesthetic. And we plot the polygon, we fill with white, the color stay black. But this time we set our quick map called quick map. So we can see how you set the aspect ratio. Here is very wide and long. We have 170 to 175. Again, it's the same graph, but we can see that again, that it reduce the aspect ratio. Then we also have the code polar. Uh, normally we use the polar, use, we use it to uh, set our polar, polar coordinates. So, Normally, a polar coordinate will reveal an interesting connection between a bar chart and also a coarse comb chart. So here we have the ggplot. We are using the diamond data. We, again, store the diamond data in the object name bar. Then we plot our bar chart, so geom bar. The mapping, we set the S to cut again the fill, the, the cut. We don't want to show the legend, so we have showed that legend is false. The width is one. We also set a term to the aspect ratio to one. And also the laps, S is no, Y is no. Then we have our coordinate flip and also coordinate polar. So we are going to switch the so we can we this is again the our graph the first option the second we set the polar and also we flip it so we can see we are very good good fair etc so this is our polar and this is the bar so this will be the conclusion again the main lecture here is very short lecture the whole concept is how to use the coordinate system in ggplot package, ggplot package for R. And again, this is our exercise. So here they say we should turn in a stack bar chart into a pie chart using, the, this is what we just did previous, the last example. And we set our bar chart also to a, a polar chart, so called them polar. And so first create, a, you can use the demo package, same as the example. I mean, you can use the diamond data set uh, or any data set you have, that's fine. But create a stack bar chart first, then later switch it to coordinate polar. And also we talk about the labs. So the question here is that what does labs do? Uh, you can read the documentation of the R, uh, R package. Uh, if you go to ggplot, uh, again, the ggplot package, there's a documentation, you can read it. Uh, also, what's the difference between the code quick map and also code co -ord map? So these are the three questions here. Again, you can submit it as an extra credit. Uh, hopefully, these extra credits can boost your final grade. So again, wish everybody the best, thank you. Again, the main lectures here is again, 
using the system coordinate in for R. Uh, this is the fourth question here. And also wish everybody the best. And see you in the class. Thank you. Bye.